Well, in the last video, I told you about how the evangelical leaders of Robert Jeffress and all of these main guys in the mainstream are, are destroying souls because of the way that they have went about things over the years by dipping their nose in politics and ultimately uplifting Trump into like a godlike status. But I want to focus on Robert Jeffress because I couldn't put it all in the video of the last video. And as you remember, you remember this guy here uh, uh, had his church catch on fire back in July there. And they still haven't found out a reason why. They still haven't found out a reason why this fire happened. So we'll talk about that in a second. But what I wanted to let you guys know, if you're not aware, uh, 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 Tim Alberta, I talked about him. He's an award-winning journalist there that's a preacher's kid. And he goes around and interviews and has wrote a few books and he got to interview Robert Jeffers there uh, uh, for the upcoming book right here. As you see that, it's already out. Excellent book. You know, it's on audio book if you want to listen to it. I bought the book and listened to the audio after uh, I listened to the audio. I bought the book. Excellent book because it explains this, uh, uh, the way that politics and evangelicals have just basically got involved and have destroyed the, the, the name of Christ and the way that, the, uh, uh, that people look at the church and society as a whole. But he was at Robert Jeffers' church. And during the interview there, Robert Jeffers admitted that his love for Trump, basically, and uh, that the evangelicals' uh, worship of Trump uh, uh, from them has, he's seen uh, uh, how it has set them back, how people's been turned off, how people has, you know, people are, are being destroyed by it. And then Tim Alberta says in his book, he looked over, I can't remember, to the right or left. And in his office space or, or so where they were meeting, Robert Jeffers had a shrine set up, basically a Trump shrine. He said it was something that he has never seen before in his life. And it was really almost unbelievable. He said there's like this eight foot poster of Donald Trump as, as something that he's got in there. He said he, there's dozens and dozens of like pictures and plaques like hanging on the walls in, in, in this space and then it, gold cufflinks and all of these things and he said it was just something unbelievable and you know try to picture that try to picture that i mean as you see here within the thumbnail and the picture of the people worshiping this gold statue of him but for a pastor to have all of that in his space and he goes around as we talk about lying in the name of the Lord, trying to justify why America should be a Christian nation because it was founded on as a Christian nation and all of these lies. But yet he is practicing idol worship in the highest form. And that's why I talk about these people, all of them, all of these evangelical leaders that we talk about. All, and unfortunately, they got their followers that go along with them. They have went to idol worship in the highest level. And this guy has a shrine set up in his office. Don't believe me? You do the research yourself. It's been seen by several people that this pastor had this going on in his office. It reminds me back when I used to sell real estate back there before the uh, market had crashed and I sold uh, real estate. And I, I had a lot of Indian friends uh, uh, from India and um, a lot of Asian friends and things because I worked in a factory with them. And when I started doing real estate, I got a lot of business from them. And I had one in particular that I could not sell this house because of the curry smell was so bad. Everybody that went in and they got sick when they went in there. But what scared them to death was they had a temple set up in the living room of what they called the gods. It was like these two statues, statues with the Indian temple, uh, Taj Mahal style looking the deal. And they would bring out bottle, uh, have bowls of water and put a fan on them. And he would tell me he had to feed the gods and take care of the gods and things like that. People would be scared when they go into a home to, to, to uh, see that, you know, but that's understanding because that's, I mean, that's their culture. Uh, yeah, we, we know what, we won't get into all of that, but to have a shrine set up of a politician, of a, uh, of a human, within your church like that shows you that these people are highly deceived and back to that church fire i mean i don't try to and i'm not in conspiracy theories and all of these things but 
you know, the first thing I thought when that fire happened, because I've known about this shrine stuff for a while. I was been meaning to talk about Robert Jeffers for a while, you know, and I brought him up over the years for those of you that follow me on this channel. But when I saw that fire, you know, and thank God nobody was hurt or injured or nobody was there or so. But I thought of that fire. I said, ooh, you know, hopefully it's, you know, maybe it's somebody was, you know, some electrical issue. Uh, uh, you know, there's something simple uh, or so. But they haven't found out yet as of, as of you know, uh, I tried to research. And it just makes me wonder. God, you know, we'll talk about Texas. Because there's a lot going on in Texas. A whole lot. Along with the preachers and things. We'll talk about that. If you notice, there's a whole lot going on with Texas and things. But a lot going on. God says judgment starts within the church. And there's a lot. We've been talking about it. That God, and, and that's where a lot of people don't understand. And a lot of people don't realize. God's judgment has fallen upon the church. He's cleaning house. He's closing up shop as I've been saying it. This is what's happening and you're seeing it. And it makes me just wonder, is this just a sign from God with that fire of that old uh, historic part of the church that's the, because of what's going on within the church. And we know that if you have a pastor operating like that, lying and talking about America's family, this Christian nation and, and, and not speaking up on the real issues that are going on in society, but elevating a politician to its highest form and things like that, where idolatry is the top of your ticket. Whew, I mean, I don't know. You know, I would not want to be operating any kind of ministry or anything going around uh, uh, in the claiming in the Lord's name operating like that. That is a dangerous place to be. And that's where these people that we talk about online here that have these false ministries and lying in the Lord's name, they are playing with fire. They are really playing with fire. I would be scared to death to go to sleep, get in my car. I'll be thinking that the Lord, you know, the, the lightning strike will come at any moment. I would be scared to death. And this shows you that these folks have no fear for the Lord. So, you know, I don't know, you know, that fire... Could, is it a sign? You know, I would like to know some of you guys' thoughts and opinions on that because, I mean, I just thought about that. Lord ain't playing. He's not playing. And uh, people want to continue to think of some type of joke and because they think they're uh, it, it, loving the, the spoils of their evil deeds, you know, the Lord's not going to have it. So that's what I just wanted to talk about. Add on to that video. And, you know, we need to continue to pray that people are delivered, continue to pray that people walk away from these churches and these types of pastors and, and get out of there. Because these pastors, there's no signs of them repenting anytime soon. Uh, and if it happens, I mean, it will be far and few. But we pray that there's some type of freedom, that they're freed from the shackles of the enemy because they are the ones out here deceiving millions and thousands, thousands and millions of people, hundreds of thousands. They, they're the main ones on the platform. So we'll continue to talk about issues the church went away from. Take the devil head on, punch him right between the chops. Evangelist for God is a channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.